inventories. Inventories are assets which are held for sale in the ordinary course of business in the process for such sales or in the form of materials or supplies to be consumed in the production process or in rendering of services. Okay. Ibig sabihin ng inventories, ito yung mga assets na held for sale in the ordinary course of business. So, yung, yung mga assets na for sale na part ng normal operations ng company, ay yun yung tinatawag na inventory. So, kung ang entity ay nagbebenta ng mga sakyan and yun yung kanyang ordinary course of business, meaning ang normal operations niya ay pagbebenta ng sasakyan, Therefore, yung mga sasakyan na held for sale, yun yung kanyang inventory. Or, inventories are in the process for such sales or in the form of materials or supplies to be consumed in the production process or in the rendering of services. So, ulit, kapag yung company ay producer ng mga sasakyan, so, nag-manufacturer ng mga sasakyan, yung mga metals, yung mga tools, and supplies na ginagamit para makabuo ng sasakyan is considered as inventory. Inventories encompass goods purchased and held for sale. Inventories also encompass finished goods produced, goods in process, and materials and supplies awaiting use in the production process. Classes of inventories. Inventories are classified into two. Namely, letter A, inventories of a trading concern and letter B, inventories of manufacturing concern. So, yung class of inventories, trading, manufacturing. The term merchandise inventory is generally applied to the goods held by a trading concern. Okay, ano ba yung good by a trading concern? So, meaning kapag trading concern, ang ginagawa ni entity is bibili lang siya ng goods, ng inventory, then ibebenta niya rin. So, buy and sell. And yung inventory, kapag trading concern, merchandise inventory ang term. A manufacturing concern is the one that buys goods which are converted into another form before they are available for sale. The terms raw materials, factory or manufacturing supplies, goods in process, finished goods, refer to inventories of manufacturing concern. Okay. Kapag trading, merchandise, inventory. Kapag manufacturing, madami. Merong raw materials, factory or manufacturing supplies, goods in process, and finished goods. Bakit kaya madaming inventory kapag manufacturing? Ang pag-manufacturing ang entity, meaning ito yung mga company na nagko-convert ng product into a new product na ibebenta nila sa kanilang mga customers. Kung baga, from, from raw material, magiging finished goods na yung yung finished goods na yun na yung ibebenta sa kanilang mga customers. Kapag trading, walang, manu, walang creation ng bagong product. Kung baga, pag trading, bumibili lang ng inventory then, ibebenta na lang sa mga customers. Kapag manufacturing, bibili lang inventory, then, dadaan yon sa process, magkakreate sila ng panibagong finished goods, or yung finished goods na tinatawag, at yun yung ibebenta nila sa customers. Raw materials. Raw materials are goods that are to be used in the production process. Raw materials become part of a finished product and can be conveniently and economically traced to a specific product. Okay. For example, ang entity ay gumagawa ng mga tables. So, ang raw materials nila doon is yun yung wood, yung lumber, at yung iba pang mga klase ng kahoy na ginagamit sa paggawa ng lamesa. Factory or manufacturing supplies. Factory or ma factory or manufacturing supplies are similar to the raw materials, but their relation to the end product is indirect. These supplies may be referred 
as indirect material. So, example naman ito, yung, yung, yung mga... So, let's say, ang entity ay gumagawa ng mga table. So, ang factory or manufacturing supplies nila doon is yung mga pako, turnilyo, mga pandikit, lubricants, or pag may mga small tools na ginagamit like martilyo or lagare, yun yung considered as factory or manufacturing supplies. Goods in process or work in process are partially completed products which require further process or work before they can be sold. So, ito naman yung mga work in process na partially completed pa lang. Meaning, meron pa siyang dadaan ng process para pabuo yung product. Finished goods. Finished goods are completed products which are ready held, which are ready for sale. So, ito yung finished goods na pwede nang ibenta or i-deliver sa mga customers. Goods includable in the inventory. As a rule, all goods to which the entity has title shall be included in the inventory regardless of the location. So general rule, basta may title ang entity kahit nasaan pa yung inventory, kahit wala sa company nila or wala sa mismo sa entity Regardless of location, kasama pa rin yan sa inventory. Applying the legal test, the following are all includable in inventory. Goods owned and on hand. Okay, yung mga inventory na nandun sa entity mismo. Yung mga nakalagay sa warehouse or sa display ng entity. Goods in transit and sold FOB destination. Okay, goods in transit and sold. So, yung entity nagbenta and ang shipping term, FOB destination. So, kapag FOB destination, yung title ng inventory is malilipat lang sa buyer upon receipt ng inventory. So, kapag destination, kapag in transit or bumabiyahe pa lang inventory na binenta, at ang shipping term ay of FOB destination. Therefore, yung, may, yung inventory na bumabiyahe is includable pa rin sa inventory ng seller. Kahit na in transit na siya or wala na siya sa entity dahil nandun pa din ang title. And ang rule, all goods to which in entity has title shall be included in the inventory regardless of location. So kahit wala na to sa entity, inventory pa din yan ni seller. Goods in transit and purchase FOB shipping point. Okay. Sa letter C naman, yung entity ang bumili. And kapag shipping point ang term, ang ownership ay malilipat sa buyer upon shipment. Meaning, pag bumabiyahe na yung goods na purchase FOB shipping point, kapag bumabiyahe na siya, inventory na yon ni buyer. Kahit hindi pa siya nare-receive. Goods out on consignment. Okay, later itong consignment dahil may paliwanag tayo na nakabukod para dyan. Goods in the hands of salesmen or agents. So, yung mga nakikita natin sa mga sa SM or sa ipang mga malls na mga sasakyan na hawak ng salesmen or agents, yun yung example ng goods in the hands or, of salesmen or agents. Letter F, goods held by customers on approval or on trial. Okay. Kapag may bagong, ito ay especially sa mga bagong customer. So, syempre bago mag-deliver ng inventory sa customer, may mga pagkakataon na yung customer is magtetest muna sila ng inventory ni seller. Kung baga, trial muna. Then kapag nag-okay or nag-approve sa customers, Saka sila bibili dun sa entity na nagbibigay ng or nagpo-provide ng inventory. And kapag may mga goods held by customers on approval or on trial is considered pa rin as part ng inventory. Okay, balikan natin yung goods out on consignment. Consigned goods. A consignment is a method of marketing goods in which the owner called the consignor transfers physical possession of certain goods to an agent called 
the consignee who sells the owners on the owner's behalf. Okay, kapag consignment, may dalawang party na involved, si consignor and si consignee. Si consignor yung may-ari ng inventory, ililipat niya yung possession or transfer niya yung possession ng inventory kay consignee, which is si consignee is siya na yung magbebenta sa mga customers. So, kung parang ang nangyayari kapag consignment, si consignor, nagpapabenta lang siya ng inventory niya kay consignee. Consigned goods shall be included in the consignor's inventory and excluded from the consignee's inventory. Okay. Included siya sa consignor's inventory kasi inventory yun ni consignor. Kung baga, pinapasuyo lang ni consignor kay consignee na ibenta yung kanyang goods and excluded from the consignee's inventory. So, si consignee naman, siya yung nagbebenta ng inventory and hindi naman sa kanya yon kung baga pinakabenta lang sa kanya ni consignor so dapat hindi yon masama sa inventory ni consignee freight and other handling costs on goods on consignment are part of the inventory of the cost of goods consigned okay straight natin ayan consignor ito consignee ito so si consignor magkakarga siya ng inventory dito sa truck na ito para ilipat kay consignee which is ang role naman ni consignee is siya na yung magbebenta sa customer nung inventory na galing kay consignor. Yung freight, syempre yung pag may delivery, merong mga freight and other handling cost. And any freight and other handling cost are part ng cost of goods consigned. So, part siya ng cost ng inventory. And once na makarating na yung inventory kay consignee, Ang, ang magiging role ni consignee is siya na yung magbebenta ng inventory ni consignor sa customer. Okay, consign inventory na nandito sa ha, sa kamay ni consignee. Sa point of view ni consignor, goods out of consignment ang tawag dahil pinapabenta niya yung inventory kay consignee. And si consignor ang may-ari ng inventory. Sa point of view man ni consignee or yung nagbebenta, Siya ay goods held on consignment. Dahil hawak niya yung goods on consignment, siya ang magbebenta sa customer. And hindi yan kasama sa inventory ni consignee. Okay, application tayo ngayon ng legal test ng title ng inventory. Compute the correct amount of inventory. Lunar Company included the following items under inventories. Okay, ibig sabihin, lahat ito is nakapaloob as cost ng inventory ni Lunar. And ang gagawin natin, i-co-correct natin or co-compute natin yung correct amount of inventory. Number one. Materials, 1.4 million. Kasama ba siya sa inventory? Kasama. Part yan ng inventory. So, i-co-consider natin yan as part ng correct amount of inventory materials at what amount? 1.4 million advance for materials ordered 200,000 dapat ba siyang masama sa inventory? hindi kasi advances pa lang yan ano ba ang nangyari dito sa advance for materials ordered? ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng line item na to? Ang nangyari dyan, is si Entity or si Lunar Company, nagbayad siya in advance dun sa supplier niya ng materials. Hindi pa na deliver yung material, pero binayaran niya na ng advance. So, hindi yan part ng inventory dahil wala pang delivery ng material na nangyayari. Order pa lang. And ito, line item na to, is yan ay receivable. Kaya hindi yan kasama. Goods in process, 650,000. Kasama sa inventory, kasama yan. Goods in process, 650,000. Unexpired insurance on inventories, kasama ba yan sa cost of inventory? <coughs> hindi, hindi yan kasama. Yan ay prepaid expenses. So, hindi yan kasama sa inventory. Insurance. Prepaid insurance. Advertising catalogs and shipping cartons. 
So, yung mga shipping carton ba ay kasama sa inventory? Hindi, hindi yan kasama. Treatment dyan is supplies. Finish goods in factory, 2 million. Kasama? Kasama yan sa part ng inventory. Finish goods in factory. 2 million pesos. Finish goods in company-owned retail store, including 50% profit on cost, 750,000. Okay. Kasama ba siya sa inventory? Kasama dahil finish goods yan ni entity kahit nandun yan sa retail store. But ang problem, yung amount na 750 is inclusive daw ng profit na 50% on cost. And, ang inventory, nire-record siya lagi at cost. So, ibig sabihin, kasama ito, so, lagay mo na natin, finish goods na nasa retail store. Pero yung amount na 750, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin. Dahil yan ay may profit na nakapaloob. So, kukumpute natin yung cost ng inventory. So, we have the selling price, SP, then the cost, then the profit. Profit daw is 50% ng cost. Therefore, siya, um, therefore 50% profit on cost, yung cost ang 100%. Selling price minus cost equals profit. Therefore, yung selling price is 150%. 150 minus 100 equals 50%. Okay. Ngayon, ilagay natin yung amount. Finish goods in company on retail store, 750,000. Inclusive. Including 50% profit on cost. Therefore, yan ay selling price. 750. So, para makuha yung 100%, is i-divide lang natin yung 750,000 divided by 150%. And that is 500,000. <clears throat> Next. Finish goods in the hands of consignees, including 40% profit on sales, 400,000. Kasama ba sa inventory yan? Kasama dahil yan ay mga goods out of consignment ni Lunar. And kapag out of consignment, meaning si Lunar, pinabenta niya yung inventory dun sa kanyang consignee. So, inventory niya pa rin yan. Finish goods, hands on, consignees. Okay, at what amount? Dahil ang sabi, Including 40% profit on sales. So, magkukumpit na naman tayo ng cost. Selling price, cost, profit. Okay. Profit is 40% of sales. So, therefore, siya ay based sa sales. So, 100% yung selling price. 100 minus cost equals 40. Therefore, yung cost is 60%. 100 minus 60 equals 40. And ang selling price is 400,000. Okay. Para ma-compute natin yung 60%, is, ang gagawin natin is pag multiply yan yung 400 times 60%. 400,000 times 60%. That is 240,000. Finish goods in transit. To customers, ship FOB destination. 250,000 at cost. Okay. Kasama sa inventory? Kasama. Finish goods. Ship FOB destination. Na 250,000 pesos. Di-deliver sa customer, FOB destination. Therefore, kapag in transit, FOB destination, si Lunar Company yung may-ari. Siya yung seller. Finish goods out of approval at cost. So, kasama pa rin yan. Finish goods on approval, 100,000 pesos. Unsaleable finish goods at cost. Dapat ba itong isama? 
Hindi natin sasama yan dahil unsaleable na siya. Hindi na yan mabibenta sa mga customers. Office supplies. Okay, hindi rin to kasama dahil yan ay supplies account. Materials in transit ship FOB shipping point. Excluding freight of 30,000, of 30,000. 30, Kasama ba sa inventory? Kasama yan dahil yan ay binili ni entity shipping point ang term. And kapag bumabiyahe, shipping point is kasama sa inventory. So, finished goods na FOB shipping point. Ayan. At what amount? 330,000 shipping point yung term. Therefore, kapag shipping point, si buyer na ang may-ari ng goods na binili and siya na rin ang dapat mag-shoulder ng freight. And yung freight cost is kasama yan sa cost ng inventory. Therefore, 360 yung total na inventory dito sa materials in transit. Goods held on consignment at sales price. Cost 150, 200,000. Okay, goods held on consignment, dapat bang isama sa inventory? Hindi, dahil hindi yan inventory ni Lunar. Siya naman yung consignee dito sa transaction na ito. Siya naman yung magbebenta ng inventory on behalf ng consignor. At hindi yan niya, or hindi yan kasama sa kanyang inventory. Okay, nakonsider na natin ang lahat ng inventory items ni Lunar and kukumpitin na lang natin yung total 1.4 plus 650 plus 2 million plus 500,000 plus 240 plus 250 plus 100 plus 360 equals dito natin lagay yung total 5.5 million pesos therefore yan yung correct amount of inventory ni Lunar Company based dito sa mga given na nasa problem <coughs> 